At a school in Kampala, Esther Kalenzi teaches kids between the ages of 6 and 10 not just how to read, but how to enjoy books. The key is her selection of delightful stories set in Uganda. Today's pick, The Queen of Katwe. It's about a Ugandan chess player. A lot of the literature that's out there is completely westernized, so we try to get stories about people that they can relate to, about places within Uganda, within Kampala and its outskirts, so that they can see themselves in these stories. Esther Kalenzi stages soccer tournaments with teams from the area to finance the book project. She leads a staff of 30 volunteers. On this day, she raised 4,500 euros through admission and sponsorships. She intends to use the money to buy more books and pens for the children. Esther Kalenzi came up with this idea four years ago. She was tired of reading the same books over and over to the children. We just want to, to have capacity to run these literacy projects and also get as many books as possible for these children to be able to read, write, and then to also encourage them to be better public speakers so that at the end of their primary life, they go with so many other skills besides passing the four subjects that they have to study. But some of the children face a more basic challenge. Many Ugandans can't afford to feed their children regularly. That gave Esther the idea to start a school meal program to ensure the children get enough to eat every day. The children under Esther's care are lucky, but they're also in the minority. The UN estimates around 1.4 million children in Uganda do not attend school. Esther then launched the Buy a Brick campaign. Through this drive, donors give the equivalent cost of a single brick. With the proceeds from this fundraising venture, she's helped construct two dormitories and a library so far. A lot of the children that we met were orphaned and abandoned children, and we realized that they had very little compared to what we were accustomed to. The places were really overcrowded, they had one meal a day, their clothes were not the best, but they were still happy in their skin, yeah? Despite the fact that we were also right out of university, just trying to figure out life, there was something that we could contribute to them. Esther Kalenzi has so far helped change the lives of over 800 children in Uganda. But she's not done yet. She continues to put on as many fundraising soccer matches as possible and uses the proceeds to help the children every way she can.